the winter holidays are over, you better have put away that snowflake pillow. So this means it is time to spring clean your living spaces as well. So shopping and style expert Susan Redstone is here with more on how to freshen up our home. She is the author of Just Try It On, a month-to-month -month guide to shopping and style. Susan, so good to have you. Thank you. We hear this so often. You can completely transform a room when it comes to something like pillows. So take me through how we can bring from winter to spring pretty easily and pretty affordable. Certainly. So first of all, take away all the winter things. Take away the winter candles. Take away the faux fur pillows. Take away the wool items. It's all in the edit. As much as you can remove, you can put back for less. It's a very, very clever secret. It's actually taking away things rather than putting back things. So when you talk about something like the pillows, uh, it's bright colors? It it's is. Florals? It's about keeping it tight in a color palette. So we've mm. got this kind of tangerine and the aqua and the white and the silver and replacing that from the sort of faux furs and the chocolate browns and the creams and the nubby for winter, the winter fabrics. And I like it how you say you can, don't have to spend a lot on these pillows. No. You can go to some of the bigger yeah. discount chain places Absolutely. and then re re save them for next year. Absolutely. I mean, most of these are from the Burlington Coat Factory. I did pull a couple of items from the Pottery Barn, like the, the tray here. But, you know, just one item can certainly refresh things. And don't forget the hardware store. Yeah. Those are very good values. Items well. like picture frames, coffee cups. Yes. Take me through some of these. Exactly. Well, I'd love to put a tray, a fresh tray, in the living room for spring. Mm -hmm. I love to remove all the winter magazines. That's another edit. And replace your fresh uh, photographs. Update them. It's nice to have pictures of your family that are current. Um, I just brought some cups here just to sort of lean into the kitchen. We're not really going to touch on the kitchen today here, but I do want to talk about the dining room, okay. for example. The dining room is an area that you walk through constantly, and the family sees it. So with a very, very small update with like a runner um, and some new napkins and maybe a centerpiece. This is a pottery barn, and I have the Burlington Coat Factory. Again, go to the outlet stores and just buy one nice thing and set up your dining table so that when you do walk past it and pass through it all day long, it's a very refreshing spring feel. So you have the dining room all set up already with the runner and the yes. table that, that have a pop of color yes. so people always see it. Remove the homework first. <laughs> <laughs> we have a hard time doing that. This is a good tech item. Yes. I love this. This is a dimmer. It is. It's a graphic. It it's, it's a dimmer a graphic tea by Lutron. You get it at your local lighting stores. It's sixty-seven dollars. So it's, here we are. Something under a hundred dollars. Home tech is huge. There are a lot of products that you can, in fact, uh, activate from your smartphone. This is just a beautiful dimmer switch that uh, works with a, a light bar. So your finger runs up and down. It comes in about forty different colors and finishes. So it's a kind of a fashion function thing for the home, but setting the mood by being able to dim the lights is definitely a great upgrade and for 67 bucks hey exactly and real quick speaking of flowers this is a great DIY activity that I love you basically just take spray paint yeah and you, well you take a looking glass paint um, a spray bottle full of a half vinegar a white vinegar and water spray a mason jar with the vinegar then use the the, paint, the looking glass spray spray it rub it so that you create like a beautiful mercury glass effect like this it's a few cents so it's this very is fresh. basically something you could buy in a store for about 20 bucks you spend about two dollars on it I and think it's, it's a beautiful e new vase it might even home. it might even be less and fresh flowers replace the winter candles that's the number one thing if you're really not going to spend too much for 10 bucks fresh flowers for spring and you said you got these tulips for four bucks so I, I love that even better Susan Redstone so good to have you some great easy affordable tips for spring